Former Secretary General of NATO Anders Fof Rasmussen warned British people must realize they will still have to follow EU rules during the Brexit transition period. Mr. Fof Rasmussen, who was the former Prime Minister of Denmark, said Theresa May must put security above trade talks, insisting negotiations will be complex and there is no fallback option if an agreement is not made. Speaking on BBC Radio 4's Today programme, Mr. Fof Rasmussen said, The Brits should realise that while you are leaving the European Union you will still have to comply with rules that are decided within the European Union. The former NATO boss said Britain would have to follow rules on data protection, which would include the European Court of Justice, Getty MSNBC Brexit News and as Fof Rasmussen said there will be no fallback on security talks. Brits should realise that while you are leaving the European Union, you will still have to comply with rules. And as Fof Rasmussen he added, it's obvious that you have decided to leave the EU. We will respect that but in an interconnected world you also have to realise your dependence on other partner. We did so in Denmark. Denmark is not an integrated part of Europol for instance but we have to comply with the same rules as other partners in Europe. I'm concerned that, as far as we can see, security is not on the radar screen right now, but it's very complicated. When it comes to trade you have the WTO tariffs as a fallback. But when it comes to security you don't have any fallback option. And that's why you have to address these issues in due time. EU officials have have been forced to backtrack on plans to punish the UK during the Brexit transition period. The EU have now removed the punishment clause from a draft text which could have forced the UK to obey regulations and face tariffs. Theresa May is to travel to Berlin on Friday to hold talks with German Chancellor Angela Merkel. The Prime Minister's trip comes a day before her speech in which she is expected to outline Britain's future security partnership with the EU. Mrs May is calling for a security treaty to stand alongside an EU trade deal. Former director of GCHQ Robert Hannigan has also warned Britain's defence sector will decline if Theresa May does not remain part of the European defence plan after it has left the EU. Friday, December 8, 2017 Here is the 15-page Brexit deal in full foreign. Secretary Boris Johnson used a speech in central London on Wednesday to shut down claims by Remainers and said that leaving the EU is a reason for hope not fear. Mr Johnson outlined his Brexit red lines and insisted the British people feel they have finally been listened to on Brexit. He said the success of Brexit will depend on what we make of it and it will be a success. He warned that any Concession to demands from pro-EU campaigners to dilute the exit from the bloc would be a disastrous mistake.